Good Saturday morning. So we're following this breaking news. We've been telling you about it all morning long. I-70 is shut down near Greenfield in both directions. Hancock County 911 just giving an update that they are moving traffic that is stuck there, that's been stuck there since about 640 this morning. It is being moved off the interstate. This is between Mount Comfort Road and State Road 9. They got the eastbound lanes out. Now they're moving the westbound lanes out. And Hancock County 911 says that this will be shut down for an, an undetermined amount of time is what they said. Indot said for at least a few hours. Uh, Indot had said there was a flipped semi. The 911 center says that there are multiple semis involved. All in all, though, what we know is there is a big traffic issue in this area. It is not clear if anyone is hurt. Uh, Ryan Morse, though, here with the stretch of road that we're talking mm -hmm. about. And Ryan, really, the best way is to avoid this. Yeah. But if not, there are a few ways to get around this yeah. traffic issue right now. You US-40 is going to be your main bet to get around all this. Of course, it's a complete mess there. And it was a little misleading on that camera. You could see cars moving. They're just yeah. moving them off They're the interstate. Off. And they said then it's going to be closed. Yeah. So those people, unfortunately, have been stuck for quite yeah. some time on the interstate. So moving off, but don't go thinking it's open. Yeah. Regardless, it's going to be closed. So you're still going to need these detours probably through the rest of the today or when they clear that at least. Here are those detours. So I-70 eastbound, if you're coming from Indianapolis, you're going to take Mount Comfort Road to US-40. And then I-70 westbound, you would take State Road 9 to, again, US-40. So US-40, the main detour here, that circle you see right there, that's where we have our camera stations. It is looking off to the west. So that incident somewhere to the west of where that camera is. We're still going to watch that through the next few hours.